And it's all that I want, yeah. all that I need, all I've been hoping for, all I believe, coming together in this moment supreme. I'm standing tall, having it all. I'm standing tall, having it all. Living our dreams. Well, it's great to see his production again. Well, Elliot and Me is a heartfelt musical of brotherly love based on a powerful bond. And it premieres here in Northeast Ohio this week, but with a big twist because of the pandemic. Stephen Walensky worked for years trying to tell this very funny, heartfelt, and true story as well. Joining us live by Zoom this morning. Uh, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining us. So, first of all, welcome. And tell us about your brother, Elliot, and that's what this is based on. And he had an unbelievable career. Yes, uh, so Elliot and I were very close. We were actually 10 years apart, uh, but I learned a lot of things from Elliot. Uh, we were completely different, but alike in so many ways. And uh, when he was uh, in medical school, he actually decided to drop out and become a songwriter. And uh, he had hit songs with people like Michael Jackson and Smokey Robinson and Shaka Khan, and, uh, just uh, Fifth Dimension. Uh, and he lived his dream. And that song, Living My Dream, was actually a song that was written uh, as a submission. Uh, he co-wrote it with a guy named Andy Rejekis for American Idol. And they were hoping it was going to be the, the final song for oh. American Idol one wow. year. What an amazing transition, though, from medical school to a songwriter. Yeah. Were, were you always musical growing up, and did he just have that, that knack for it? Yeah, you know, Elliot played the piano from the time he was three years old. Mm. And uh, you know, it's actually in, in the show, my, my parents, as a housewarming gift, uh, got one piece of furniture, and it was a, it was a baby grand piano for my grandparents. Oh. And Elliot took to it like uh, fish and water. Wow. And, uh, and he actually taught me how to play the piano, too. <laughs> Amazing. Well, you guys had such an incredible bond, but the story is so great, and we're happy that you're sharing this with all of us. So talk about, uh, it, it's based, it's called Elliot and Me, again, and it's yes. it's based on, on him and the incredible career and even change of past that he, he took, and he was such a success. Yeah. You know, we, we actually, uh, even though I wasn't in, in show business like he was, whenever we were together, uh, we'd go out to a restaurant or a club and we'd wind up gravitating to a piano and we would sing his song. Mm -hmm. So we always joke about doing a two-man show together. And we mm -hmm. actually started writing a two-man show in 2009 and tragically he passed away from a stroke in uh, the following year. Oh. And I decided to follow through the dream and it's taken 10 years to get the show up. And, and, and that's and the big COVID challenge. didn't help. No, yeah. right. So talk about that whole process. You know, you, you were hoping to perform it live for everybody, and now there's a big change with it. So how can people see it? What was that transition like for you? Right, yeah. So um, originally, uh, uh, we were going to stage it for uh, the month of December at a theater, Hudson Theater Works in New Jersey. And then uh, we were going to bring the same cast here to Cleveland uh, to, do, uh, to do a month-long run this coming June. And obviously COVID changed all that, but the artistic director of the theater called me up in uh, August last year and said, why don't we stage it without an audience? We'll film it and uh, we'll, we'll stream it. And so, uh, you know, and Chagrin Valley Little Theater was also going to partner with them uh, to take the cast in, in June. Uh, so it was natural that, uh, you know, it premiered in, in December uh, from Hudson Theater Works as a stream, but Chagrin Valley Little Theater is doing it this weekend. And so people who want to see it, they can do it from their living rooms and it's, uh, it's cvlt.org and they can, you know, for 20 bucks, they can get a front row seat to see yeah, Elliot and me. In your living room. And, and it's such a great idea too, because as you said, COVID came and just disrupted everybody's lives. But think of how these theaters completely had to shut down in an instant overnight. And this is able to help them generate, keep that connection going with the, the people that used to attend all of their great shows and productions there and movies. Uh, and then now they're able to still sure. help yeah. and financially help them. Yeah, I mean, it, it's been it's been really tough for these theaters, and you know, it, it was amazing when we uh, we put the audition call out uh, for the show in New York. We had all these top Broadway stars auditioning, and normally Hudson Theater Works they get great actors, but they usually don't get like the top Broadway names auditioning. Huh? 
everybody showed up because nobody was working. Wow. So we had our we had our we had two we have two great actors, uh, Eric Riley and and uh, Drew Siegler are just phenomenal in the roles. Uh, and it was very funny because you know they, they were both a little nervous, you know, when they met me, <laughs> because you know, you know, Drew's playing me, <laughs> and so right. and so he said, he said, well, tell me about you, <laughs> and, and he also has this skit where he plays my mother, and he says, well, what did she do when she got mad? And I said, well, she grits her teeth like this, and she talks like this, <laughs> and he actually he did it perfectly oh. in the show. Oh, how funny! Oh, I can't wait to see it. It yeah. looks amazing, and your brother, what an unbelievable artist, and what a great way to keep his memory alive and well. It sure is. Stephen, thanks yeah. so much, and we appreciate it. We want to let everybody know, it's Elliot and Me is tomorrow through Sunday. Uh, it's this on-demand pay-per-view event, and we have a link, by the way, to get to uh, the streaming area of it on fox8.com, so it's real convenient for our viewers to get to that. And congratulations. Thank Great. you. It's an honor yeah. to talk thanks. to you, and we appreciate you being with us. Thanks. Great to see you guys. Amazing. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. You too. Thanks. Bye bye. He forgot to mention his brother wrote one of the hit songs for Whitney Houston. It's on her greatest hits album. Mm -hmm. I mean, he really worked with some of the best he, artists. Yeah, Michael Jackson, he did yep. mention, and Shaka Khan. Pretty amazing. Wow. Yeah, he was.